Hello there. Floods in Thailand that have devastated large parts of the country now threaten the entire capital, Bangkok. Tens of thousands are fleeing their homes as water levels rise. The government says it can no longer guarantee people's safety. So far across the country, close to 400 people have been killed. As you can see from this satellite image, Bangkok is now almost completely surrounded by water. Joining me from Bangkok is Hannah Watson, who's a student who's spent the last few weeks volunteering at a local relief centre. Um, Hannah, what are the biggest worries for people in Bangkok uh, because of the flooding? Um, there are major concerns because uh, we're in a city of 9 to 11 million people and um, reportedly we've heard that there are only two f mass food and beverage um, distributors in Bangkok currently. So um, once the crisis hits, uh, we're in a situation where there could be a massive lack of uh, food and water for people. Already it's becoming difficult to buy water in the shops and um, they sell out first thing in the morning. So it really is a, an immediate problem. What exactly is your charity doing to help people in Bangkok? Um, Barna Sajidi has been doing things like creating life jackets and um, wraps and also uh, water treatment balls which are put into the water to clean any flood water. Um, so we've been gathering uh, volunteers via social media to uh, get together and uh, so far distribute these things to the north but it's coming to the stage where once the floods hit we'll be converted into a food distribution centre. There is some speculation that there could be crocodiles and snakes in the water. Do you know any more about that? Absolutely, because we've had farms all around the north of Bangkok and um, these crocodile farms have lost their crocodiles because of the rising floodwaters. So it's a very likely possibility that these thousands of crocodiles and snakes could be released into Bangkok once the waters arrive here. And already we've heard reports of snake bites um, further up country, so it's a very real possibility. Uh, Yingluk, Yingluk Shinawat, the uh, Thai Prime Minister, has been orchestrating um, the efforts to contain these floods. Um, do you think the government has been giving people enough help? Um, so far it's been very hard to tell. I mean, it, it's been kept very quiet, the severity of the situation. So um, it, it's really difficult to know um, what's been going on, really. Uh, I think the government has found it hard to admit how severe the crisis could be until very recently. So uh, because of that, the aid that could have been going out in the previous weeks has perhaps not been effective as it could have been. Preparations have certainly been delayed. OK, Hannah Watson, thank you very much. We'll be speaking to our correspondent, uh, Rachel Harvey, who's in Bangkok a little bit later in the programme.